Hi, so I've made uh, a schematic of my motherboard because people asked for this one because they couldn't uh, understand from the from my images and I must confess that <laughs> even I, when I looked at them now and I draw this I found I find it pretty hard because you cannot really see very clearly here luckily I, I spent so much time building this I already knew them by heart so this is a first attempt you cannot print this one yet because uh, I just made a, a replica of the wires exactly I see all these complicated things here are just the wires so you can understand the, where the connections are going but I will try to make in the next iteration another one that could be printable okay now let me explain this a bit so the red wires are the all these wires on top and the blue ones are the soldering here so I will remove the top layer for now so you can see better okay so here is the connector with the power this is the ground connections everywhere and this is the the 24 volts or you can use 12 and here we have the logic voltage the 3.3 volts that I am taking it from the microcontroller here it has an onboard DC to DC converter so while you, you power it with 5 volts from the computer it will have this converter I think it can output like 200 milliamps it's plenty for this board but if you want you could put like a DC DC converter here connect to these lines and put the output to connect it somewhere around here instead of here ok these two are the serial the first four ones are connected together actually you can only put four on one bus so that's why I have four and this one separate uh, please forgive these connections because they jump a bit here but you can understand they're just three connections these caps are 100 microfarad 50 rated at 50 volts because I'm using 24 this I already told you let me go to all the components a bit fast so this is 100k and 1k 100k 1k the same for all of them I'm jumping a bit so excuse me for this so these are the components this is the schematic from here uh, here for the octocouple we have 1k and 10k and this is the 10k this is the 1k and here is 4.7 uh, ohms and this one this one is optional I didn't put it you can put like a 10 micro if you want like uh, better stability between these lines here and here um, I, I've tried and I think uh, I will do probably a bit more experiment for now it works just fine like this okay so these are just three connections from the oh and let me zoom a bit here so you can see how the transistor goes this is gate drain and source and uh, they're put a bit backwards you see in this position and this is just an octocouple so here and here you connect the the bed and the heater the, the extruder sorry here are the fans the part cooling fan and the extruder cooling here it's my uh, the Z uh, the Z probe and uh, here the end stops and the last two are just the temperature sensors for the bed and the extruder ok this is I think it's all the explanations for here uh, these two 
are the address for the bus because we have four addresses so it's zero 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 one one zero one one you cannot see the one for connections because it's on the top I'll put it right now I think these are already clear okay I'll remove now the bottom layer so you can see this okay this is the enable pin you see the last one from here so they just connect all connected together and here uh, the f the last connections on top here is just the direction and step you see they're just three connections nothing special and the most convoluted one is the logical voltage the 3.3 that comes on from the bottom till here and then I go on the top to put it here and I have to also put it here see this is the 0 1 and then 1 0 and finally this is 1 1 these two are connected together on the bottom ok I think this is everything I will put a link in the description you already have these two images I will put them as well I also made two more images for the bottom layer and the top layer uh, this is cross a bit here but I told you these are just stray connections and I also will put an export of this this program it's called uh, easy EDA you can find it for free on Google and download it it works on all platforms like Windows uh, Linux and Mac OS so there's no issue so we can uh, import this and uh, just highlight this for better clarity I um, also add all these resources you saw here and uh, I will also try to I think this is all for now but I will try to make in the next week or two a new iteration that we can uh, with traces printed so we don't have to bother with all these uh, soldering it will be much nicer I guess also look better so like and subscribe and also please leave your uh, mentions or suggestions in the comments for future I don't know whatever if you don't understand okay that's it thanks for your time